So titles are something else that you can just learn how to punctuate once and for all. It doesn't have to be a big deep dark mystery when you italicize or when you underline or when you use quotation marks. I'm going to teach you today the finite rules that you need to know in order to master this. So in general, a general rule of thumb is that if it's a big work, you underline it or put it in italics. If it's a smaller work, you put it in quotation marks. So for example, a movie, that's a big work. So you would put a whole movie title in italics or underline it. A smaller thing though might be one episode of a TV show. That episode title goes in quotation marks. But the series would go in italics. So Big Bang Theory, right? That's a TV show. You would italicize the Big Bang Theory. But if you're talking about the title of a specific episode, that goes in quotation marks. So big things, italics, little things, quotes. But let me show you how this looks in a bunch of different types of writing. Almost all book titles, probably all book titles, go in italics or you underline them. Fiction, nonfiction. If it's a book that it's a collection of a bunch of different things, you also underline that. Um, What's the difference between italics and underlining? Italics is for when you're typing, um, and underlining is for when you are writing by hand. You can't make your handwriting be italics. You can try, but technically it will never be italics. So if you're handwriting something, go ahead and underline that book title, and if you're typing, put it in italics because it just looks prettier. Plays, italics. A play is a big, whole, standalone work. So a play's title, Much Ado About Nothing, Romeo and Juliet, One um, Fences by August Wilson, those are italicized. Newspapers and magazine names, online or in print, are italicized. So the New York Times, obviously that is a big work that's made up of lots of different pieces. That's italicized. But so is Vulture. Vulture is a website that contains a lot of pop culture news. If I was writing, I went to Vulture to find a mentor text, I would italicize Vulture. Vulture is essentially an online newspaper or an online magazine. Um, so I would italicize that in my piece of writing. Individual articles, though, inside that magazine or inside that newspaper, those are in quotation marks. Marvel's Black Widow Problem, that is an article that was in AV Club, so I would put that in quotation marks. Or a newspaper article, Richmond to Open First All Ages All Abilities Park, quotation marks. Individual short stories also are in quotes, so the collection of short stories might be italicized, but that individual story, Hills Like White Elephants, that goes in quotation marks. Poems are shorter works that compose a whole, like a whole collection. So a poem's title is also in quotation marks. Now this is certainly not everything we could ever think of, right? I told you already about movies. Movies are underlined or italicized. TV series are underlined and italicized. TV episodes, though, are in quotation marks. An album title is italicized, but a song title is in quotes. I hope that you're sort of starting to internalize that trend. If it's a big complete work, italics. If it's a smaller chunk of a bigger work, quotation marks. Learning these will really help you so that you just never have to sit there and wonder again, what do I do to punctuate this title? Every title should be punctuated somehow and now you know what to do.